Hi guys, welcome to our channel. We have started a new series of movies reviews in which we will tell you about the movie, what is right and what is not in this movie. Written by Hanks, directed by Aaron Snyder and originally scheduled to be released theoretically by Sony, the drama is a minimalist war film that treats combat as a job to be done. The last time Tom Hanks played the captain of a big ship, he was fighting Somali pirates in Captain Phillips, a kinetic, immersive big screen experience that was nominated for six Academy Awards. Friends must like our videos because it takes a lot of effort to make a video. One request from all of you before starting the videos. Like our videos to encourage us and we can make more great videos for you. Let's move on to today's video. He's now back at scene. Greyhound, but this time, Hanks plays the commander of a World War II destroyer fighting Nazi submarines in the North Atlantic and this time, the film will be seen on a small screen because Sony sold it to Apple TV Plus for release this week. That's me, Greyhound, the third recent war-related film to be given a parliamentary streaming release. Following Spike Lee's Tar Five Bloods and Rod Lurie's The Outpost and like those two films, this one at times screams out to be a scene on a bigger screen than most viewers will be able to give it. On the other hand, Greyhound is pretty modest as war movies go. Written by Hanks and directed by Aaron Snyder, who has not directed a feature since the quiet and touching character study, Get Low in 2019 it's a minimalist war film that treats combat as a job to be done, and it concerns more with logistics than character arcs or emotional revolutions. Hanks has obviously covered some of the sea territory before exploring WW2 in the limited series Band of Brothers and the Pacific which has produced and of course in Steven Spalberg 1998 war epic Saving Private Ryan. But as a screenwriter Hanks most ambitious undertaking all the episode he is writing war the multi-part television series for the Earth to the Moon and Band of Brothers. There is an underestimate to the movies that Hanks has written which sometimes work to the film benefit that thing you do and sometimes no. Larry Crowan With Greyhound, Hanks turned a dangerous trip across the Atlantic Ocean into a character study of a man we never really know much about. Tense, efficient and admirable in its no-nonsense approach, the film is never quite as gripping as it ought to be. Greyhound is based on the novel The Good Shepherd by Horatio Hornblow, author C.S. Forster, with Hanks playing Captain Ernest Crossy, who after years in the US Navy has finally been given command of a destroyer, the USS Kneeling call sign Greyhound. His first assignment as commander is to help escort a convoy of three dozen merchant vessels across the Atlantic with the most dangerous portion of the voyage. Being the middle section, the Black Pit, where they are out of range of air support and German submarines can pick them off almost at will. Forrester wrote, Crossy as brooding often dispressed, man fighting feelings of infernality, but Hanks doesn't play up the angst or try to fill in the backstory. Yes, we'll see him exchange Christmas presents with his fancy to be played by Elizabeth Hurry in a soft focus opening sequence that soon feels almost irrelevant but we really don't know a lot about the guy when he assumes command of the kneeling. And from the point when we join the ship in mind, crossing as a wolf pack of German U-boats lies in wait. What we mostly hear from Kurosi are the Boazier he breaks. Hard right rudder 207, the kind of thing. If you don't catch them the first time, don't worry, almost everything he says for most of the movies is immediately repeated by an underlying Not that these lines are much more comprehensible the second time around. Greyhound sinks into the process of a man doing his best in an impossible situation surrounded by enemy submarines in the North Atlantic. There are little moments that flash out the character between the lines of all those blocks of left standard rudder and standard swap to starboard many of them related to his religion. When an elated sailor says 50 less credits after the kneeling sinks its first few boats are very cross says yes 50 souls. Hanks is also a modest actor, one who had rather appear almost strict. Most of the time when Crossy shouts it will ramp, 
that you boss if I have to it's come as something of us mostly we know who the captain is because Tom Hanks is playing him and that means he is imbued with the density and honor of the sporting characters Stephen Graham has a face made for war movies as a second in command and Rob Morgan speaks volumes with small glances as a black man restricted to serving the captain's food to him but this is Hank's movie so Krause is the one who picks up binoculars and look out across the restless Manson sees with strangers lurking underneath while blacking the list goes low and to me but you throw out with kneeing sounds like a distress wail plays up the drama as if it's part of a more emotional war movie the camera moves from the tight compared quarter inside the ship to the wide open space outside at times it rises above a battle and in one picture sequence moment it keep going throughout the clouds until we see the arrow above shots like that seems made for wide screen throughout that time you wonder if the visual effects might not be well served by the smaller format the crossing occupies almost all of the 19 minute film and is particularly effective when the battle turns into a nighttime nightmare and all tanker exploding on the surface survivors in the water you boss lurking below but it's never as immersive or as harrowing as say the outpost because this is a different kind of movie an old fashioned one in a way thought effective if you are in the mood for a straightforward dance journey throughout hostile territory yarn our goal is introduce you every hollywood movie and english tv series Be express your opinion in comments below and let us know how you like our videos. Share our channel and thumbs up on our videos. If you have liked this informative video then press the below like button and encourage us. Thanks for watching.